morning all so today is friday friday the 13th i might add and as soon as i woke up and i saw on my watch the date i was like in my head i'm like screaming white rabbit white rabbit white rabbit because <laughs> the amount of misfortune let's say i've had inconveniences i've had unfortunate events I've had the last like few months I was just like I need I need all the good luck and all the good karma I can get so I was literally screaming white rabbit in my head I would have said it out loud but Jamie was like still asleep but it's Friday I've still got the day off I definitely needed it Ugh. like there's no way I could go straight back to work the day after getting back off holiday not a chance I'm gonna start getting into the cozy spirit I think um or the spoopy spirit which we already did with the bedding yesterday and I can't wait to show it you, it was so cute. But yeah, just kind of a nice chill day, bit of a reset day, get some exercise in. Cause it's probably been like over a week since I went to the gym. Oh, look at my squish in the background. Obviously we got, you know, a fair amount of steps in while we're in Italy. I think I averaged maybe like, I'd say 10,000. I'll have to check and give you an update. But we, we did a lot of walking. The, you know, you go to Lake Como, it is very, hilly. Lake Garda, not so much. Very, very flat. Lots of places very much like right on the lakefront, which is really lovely. Whereas Lake Como is a little bit more, it's more built up. So you can see the water, but you can't, you have to like go down steps and things to get to it. So yeah, lots of walking, but no gym stuff, uh, which isn't that great. Cause I, I do love going to the gym and I've been missing like my morning walks. But yeah just gonna have a nice little reset day um thinking like a nice cozy weekend vlog because today will be I keep saying reset day but today's gonna be like a reset day and then tomorrow we're going to Liverpool to watch um the football team play at Anfield and then Sunday I'm thinking I want to film some content obviously I'm going to be filming content today as well but it'll be for this vlog today. Um, Sunday, I wanna film like other stuff as well, like other videos that I was planning whilst I was away. Cause I've kind of got, I feel like I'm getting my mojo back with doing videos. I really do enjoy making like YouTube content, like long form content. Cause I, I, they're the kind of things that I really enjoy watching. Like it's nice scrolling through your phone and stuff, but there's nothing better for me than sitting there at the weekend or like when I'm doing my makeup or when I'm having a shower, just watching like a nice vlog or, or like a product review or something like that. Like lately I've been loving calendar unboxings, but then, you know, they're just the kind of things that I really enjoy. Like I love watching Madison Sarah, Rachel Leary, Molly May, Hannah Renee, like they're, they're my go-tos for like cozy vlogs. I feel like making that kind of content is sort of where I'm at and where I kind of thrive as much as I love like doing makeup tutorials and stuff like that. These these are just like easy to do. I don't really need to think. I just talk at the camera. But I'm gonna stop rambling now so that we can get on with stuff because you know it's getting on a bit and I wanna go for a walk. I wanna have a shower and stuff. We're maybe gonna go to the gym later. We need to do the food shop. I've got some exciting stuff coming from Amazon that I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, yeah, so it's gonna be a nice cozy weekend vlog this week. Oh, it's very bright. <laughs> so yeah, we do have a TV in our room now because Jamie bought a new TV for downstairs and didn't want to sell the old one. So we have a TV stand. In fact, let me show you. Bit messy down here, but yeah, we have this stand. I thought it had a shelf with it as well. It doesn't, which is a bit annoying because then we could have put the remote and stuff there. But yeah, it's on wheels. So we can kind of roll it to the end of the bed when we want to watch TV and stuff. All right, let's make the bed.
Look at it, it's so cute. And this, I got it from Asda. I'm a bit annoyed that it's it's not as wide as it is long. Like this is obviously lengthways because the pattern's going the other way. Um, but it was very cute and it's very soft as well. Just like a little throw blanket. But look, I feel like it's reversible. Like I feel like this side's still cute. There's a couple of bits down here I wanna sort. Just move that in there and close, close the wardrobe because it's very messy in there. I feel like I need to sort my hair out. It's feeling very greasy. Like this is, I think like fourth day hair now. Well, I am going to the gym later, so it's probably gonna go all sweaty again. So I'll probably have to wash it again tomorrow morning, but that's fine. Like my hair's naturally really greasy anyway. And since I moved to this balayage, don't I remember it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of hair oil and just put my hair up in like a low, bun and get changed ready to go for a walk right pretty much ready for a walk we got gym stuff on i put this on because i feel like it's going to be a bit chilly outside because we're back in the uk but then i'm also very aware that i'm going to get very warm in this but you know i didn't want to be walking around in this on its own so we'll see how i get on come here schmelly well you're not a schmelly girl anymore are you hey you know, smelly. No, you smell lovely. She's been following me around all morning, just like meowing at me and rubbing herself on me, haven't you? Hey, did you miss me? Gorgeous girl. <laughs> got my backpack, gonna grab my water bottle, get my trainers on, earphones, got a podcast ready to go. So let's go on a walk. This is like my favourite bit of this walk <laughs> because it's like one of the nicer areas, like where we live. I love to just walk past these houses and wonder what it would be like to live there because these houses are just absolutely insane. Like they look like absolute mansions and every single one is different. Um, I have my favourites. I'm obviously not going to film them because, you know, I wouldn't want anybody then to be watching this thinking why the hell is this crazy bitch filming my house? But anyone else like that? Like just intrigued about how the other half live and just like live vicariously through <laughs> through them and be like maybe one day like deluding myself into thinking that I could ever own a house like that but you know we move we dream we try and manifest but yeah it's just my favorite part of my walk and it's also towards the end of my walk so it lets me know like in my head that I've almost finished my walk as well <laughs> Hello. <sighs> just got home from my walk. The joys of owning a cat. Lovely. I think I know the culprit because all of Evie's food's gone. So cat sick's been cleaned and the rest just chilling out. I think Evie's feeling a bit sorry for herself because she's like puked up all of her breakfast. There's biscuits down so you can eat them. Little piggy. Anyway, it's lunchtime now, so I'm gonna see if that bacon that's in the fridge that we bought before we left is still okay. And I'm thinking like a bacon medallion and cream cheese bagel. And I might have like a brioche or something. This is a rare sighting. Hi gorgeous. Not so much this one here, but. Hi chicken. Look at you, eh? She's been very loving since we got back. And she actually sat on Jamie last night, which she never does. Yeah, Luna's been way more loving recently, which is nice. And then while that's going, I think I'm gonna make myself a drink that I've not been able to have while we've been away. I mean, they probably sell it in Italy, but I've just never really bothered looking, okay? Like coffee is the thing over there. However, I love myself a dirty chai. And I don't know whether you guys have tried this, but it's so good. Like I love chai so much, I did buy this, but I need to figure out the right ratios with it. So if anybody knows, please let me know because every time I've tried to make a chai latte with this thing, it tastes disgusting. And then 
babies. What were you protesting for, madam? Eh? Hey, do you want to go out? Is that what it is? Well, you can't. And then I think I'm going to treat myself to one of the brioche things that we brought back. I've hid them like at the top of the cupboard so that I don't eat them all the time. White chocolate and pistachio Swiss rolls. So now I'm just gonna take this upstairs because Jamie's working downstairs today and enjoy my bagels and my very foamy dirty chai. Also, I've well and truly jumped on the hype with this book. I bought the second one at the same time because I knew I'd probably get through it quite quick. I mean, that's what I managed to get through of this while we were in Italy. And I was reading it a little bit on the plane and maybe like a, a few nights, like whilst we were in bed. Let me tell you about, the, about this far through, about halfway through, it gets a little bit spicy. And not gonna lie, I was a bit uncomfortable reading it on the plane because I kind of got the feeling that the guy next to me was like reading it as well. All right, time to try this bad boy. Looks exactly just like a normal Swiss roll, but that chocolate looks good. Mm. That is very good. Very sickly, which is a good thing because then I won't want to eat the entire packet all in one go. What time is it now? Quarter past one. I'm going to do a bit of content planning and sort out the meal plan. And because it's starting to get cold and stuff, I'm feeling things like maybe a shepherd's pie or some like really good stodgy home cooking, a bit like the meat and two veg type meals. Meal plan for the week was sorted. We were meant to have carbonara for dinner, but honestly, cannot be bothered. I don't feel unwell, I'm just absolutely knackered. So it's gonna be pastina, and ciabatta. And then got some rice pudding. I've not had it in ages. And these, I have to show you these. These things are the best sweet ever. No one can tell me any different. I mean, if you love sour stuff, if you don't, then not for you, but I love me some sour. <sighs> so I'm feeling fresh after dinner and a shower. And now I'm going to dry my hair because all this underneath bit seems to have dried pretty much anyway on its own. I fancy giving myself a blow dry. I'm ready for tomorrow. And then we're gonna have some rice pudding. <laughs> Just a quick, quite bouncy blowout with my Dyson Airwrap. Honestly, people hate on this thing so much and I get it's expensive, but all these people who go on saying like, it damaged my hair, it's stupid expensive and it doesn't work. This, when I tell you that when I went to the hairdresser, my hair was like this short, and I had layers up here. So basically like the entire top layer of my head snapped off completely. And I had hair that was probably about, I'd say, yeah, probably about this short at the top. And it went all the way through my hair to a point where like, I'd pick up a strand back here and I'd be like, oh, I've still got some length, but it would be thin because my hair would have snapped off to basically where this bit is here and she did an amazing job of like blending everything in. It's taken us two years and I think I've seen her maybe four times in that time. Cause I said like, rather than doing full bleach, I wanted just like a balayage. I wanted more of like a soft balayage. Cause at the time there was like a very harsh line and you can still kind of see like little bits of it here and there, but it blends so much better now. I need to get my front pieces done again, because these are meant to be like fully blonde at the front here. But my hair was so short as well, and now just, like, it's so healthy. 
and it looks really nice and it looks thick again and I'm super blind. But this, to style my hair, I can't use anything else. Like when I go to the Dominican and I have to use those god awful like hotel hair dryers, I end up just like frying it with a straightener or just going over it with like my curling wand instead and just doing like updos and stuff because this doesn't work. That's my one beef with it, actually. Dyson, if anyone happens to be watching this, why the isn't this dual voltage? My straightening iron from Babyliss works there. My curling wand, which I can't remember where that's from, works there. This, nada. Hair is dry, is bouncy. Obviously it won't look like this tomorrow. It might have like fell out a little bit, but I don't mind that, as long as my hair feels silky soft and I can just quickly go over a few bits in the morning. Anyway, stop rambling and pack this away and have my rice pudding. Okay, rice pudding time. Can't actually remember the last time I had rice pudding. I'm gonna see if we can taste the difference between these. Jamie's gone for like the deluxe rice pudding. And then I went for the light one. They're trying to be a little bit health conscious. You know, we've done a week in Italy, I've been eating crap like every day. But this is like 308 calories for the whole can. And then I'm gonna top it with a bit of strawberry jam. I need some sugar actually. Sugar? Are you mad? It comes with mine. It's so insane. I can't imagine that needs sugar if you're gonna put Nutella in it. Nutella rum rice pudding, that is a first for me. Um, that actually looks really good. <laughs> so there's mine, like your traditional rice pudding. I'm just gonna mix. And then there's Jamie's, that actually looks really good. <laughs> so you're gonna sit down and watch TV and eat this. And then I think that's me signing off for the night because we're not really gonna do much else now. Just gonna be going to sleep. So see you tomorrow. Inshi, good morning. Inshi, good morning. So it's morning. I'm trying to keep down a little bit because Jamie's still asleep because I'm not feeling too great. Because we're meant to be going to Liverpool today to go and watch them play. If he's not feeling too great, we'll probably end up having to sell the tickets. Because I won't go like, on my own. Just gonna have a nice chill morning. Feed the girls, get ready, and then off to Liverpool we go. We should get back around, I'd say like half six, seven, because I might have time to make some dinner, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I might get back and just be absolutely shattered and just want to take my makeup off, get my jammies on and chill. I made myself a dirty chai. Um, I think oh, Jamie's got out of bed, but I think what I'm gonna do is sit down, drink this, maybe watch an episode of Suits, because I've gotten back into that lately, and then get ready, because I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. Evie. Hey, gorgeous. Look at you. Oh. <laughs> you really sniff. You're so pretty. Look at you. <laughs> Luna Oh you pretty girl Come here gorgeous Oh What you want me to come outside Come on in Come on Come on in <laughs> Hello Hi gorgeous We'd love to do like loads to the garden But because we're renting and stuff It's hard to do like if it was up to us this entire thing would be paved because we hate grass i've got like a table there so that is actually black and gray rattan table and chair block so you kind of like pull the chairs out it's like a cube and then it has like little stools underneath so you can sit eight people around it's like a glass table and then that at the back there is like a giant cantilever parasol. In the summer it's really nice, like sitting outside because you have like the parasol up and stuff and then behind me 
We have a barbecue here. Not really that great to look at, but hopefully when we get our own place at some point, or maybe like the next rental property we move into, it'll be a bit better. There we go. That's like, that's like Luna's little routine. So she'll start eating her breakfast a little bit. And then when we let her outside, she comes back in. The first thing she does is go to her bowl. Right, I think I'm ready. I felt my outfit was very fitting. Like I didn't really know what to wear because the sun's out, but it is a little bit chilly. So I've gone for a look that I think actually would make me fit in very well under the ball. <laughs> look at this. So this is just a gilet that I got from um, Boohoo a while ago. It is longer, but I've just tucked it with some leggings. And then underneath I've got like a set that I got from PLT that's like a jacket, one of those like BBL jackets and some leggings. And then I redid my hair, but I'm liking it. Ready to go. <laughs> to Liverpool. Absolutely starving. I don't know whether we're going to be able to get something to eat before we go in there. If not, I guess we could get something to eat after. I don't know because I don't really want to eat something in there because football stadium food is not the one. So yeah, we'll see. We should make it in good time. So we might be able to stop off somewhere and get some food. But I think for now, I might just grab a couple of those brioche because they're staring at me on top of the cupboards. So off we go. shite won it but we did get some treats i've managed to get like a white chocolate lion bar and then a white twix couldn't find a white snickers but then i also got a star bar these are just like the best chocolate bar ever so that's going to cheer me up and then i think we might get a takeaway on the way home so the cat litter and my other things that I ordered off Amazon is here. Okay, so you fancying that smash and fries? Yeah. I feel like I want a Sam's. Do you mind if I get that instead? Get Sam's. Yeah, because so I'm just, like smash and fries is really good. I don't really fancy smash fries to be honest. I really just want an Indian curry. But I think Jamie's still undecided about whether he wants to get a smash and fries or whether he wants a Zam Zams. But I don't want you to just do that just because I'm getting a Zam Zams. If you want the munchie box, get the munchie box. But we'll see, because we've got, we won't be there for another 46 minutes. So we don't need to order it for like another half an hour maybe. So, takeaway secured. And you know it's a good takeaway when it comes in like a random like cardboard box. Jamie didn't end up getting smash and fries in the end because plot twist, they closed down. But never mind, we have Indian curry. It's absolutely freezing. I want my dramas and I want my Udi, I think. <laughs> there it is. A beautiful dinner. Jamie went for like a chicken tikka kebab and I've given some of my sauce because there was tons. And then my naan, heaven, is in this bag. So gonna go eat this now and chill out and watch some TV. Moaning all the way from my toilet. Yes, that is why you're resting right now. So I've woke up this morning with what I can only describe as feeling like death warmed up. I feel I may have caught what Jamie had because my right nostril is so blocked. My sinuses hurt a little bit and my throat is all well i've got a few exciting things to do and i'm going to be filming another video today ill or not i don't care like i want to get this done so brekkie is going to consist of brioche and a latte macchiato because i can't be bothered with a cappuccino proper Italian style breakfast like my nonna has this every morning it's pretty much the done thing in Italy I'm here for it today I'm gonna put a bit of toffee nut in there if you're wondering why I haven't got the pump on it's because I tried to put it in but when I do this overfills 
So why they wouldn't make the bottle big enough to have a litre of liquid in it and then put the pump in without it spilling everywhere is beyond me. Okay, milk in. I only did it on a two, so it should just be like nice hot milk with a tiny bit of foam on the top. So in case you can't hear, Jamie is doing insanity because he suddenly got this insane idea that because we're going to the Dominican, he's going to do the insanity workouts and the gym and go to football like twice a week. I mean, more power to him, okay? If he's got the motivation to do it, great. I would be doing it today, only I feel like within about 30 seconds I'll probably keel over because my breathing right now is not great. Anyway, I have my latte macchiato and my brioche over here. And I think I'm just gonna eat this and drink my book. Look at that perfect little loaf. <laughs> hey, Nini. Oh, gorgeous girl. Look at her, she'll literally do anything to avoid sitting on the carpet. <laughs> She's so funny. Usually she'll sleep on the blanket, like, at night. This blanket goes on the floor, so she'll usually, like, sleep on that on the floor. And then here we have another loaf. Don't we, Evie? Yeah. You are so precious, aren't you? Such a precious baby. So, I figured it was time to reveal the secret I've been keeping. A couple of weeks ago, I went for brunch with a friend and whilst I was waiting for her, I decided to go into Blank Street to try the iced blueberry matcha. Cause I'm like, it looks really pretty in the glass, but is it really that good? So I tried it and it is honestly the best drink I've ever had in my life. So I was like, well, I now make my dirty chais and my chai lattes at home. Why not see if I can make that at home as well? So I went and bought the stuff that you need for it. So we have some oat milk. You can use whatever milk you want, but I had it with the oat milk as recommended by the baristas at the time when I was in there. Then some blueberry simple syrup. This isn't the 1883 one. I wish I'd have got that one because this one is very blue. So I'm not really sure what color this is gonna turn out. And then this, which is probably the smallest, most expensive bottle I've ever bought in my life. This thing here was like 10 pounds. <laughs> and then obviously the matcha. So like ceremonial grade matcha, which I double checked after I bought it and this is. And it says to mix it until it gets all like frothy. This might be way too much. I might not actually need all of this. Okay, I'd say that's good. Okay, so blueberry syrup. It says two pumps, which would be like 20 mil. So I'm probably gonna do maybe 10. I don't, oh my God, it's got blue on my fingers already. My question is why is it blue when it's blueberry? I get they're called blueberries, but they're purple. Okay, and then a tiny, oh wow, that is very purple. Okay, this is gonna be an interesting color. Cause they said it's mostly for color. So... Okay, that was way too much, oh dear. And like I said, I would use a pump of vanilla as well, but because that is vanilla, milk i figured i'd just leave it like that okay and then we pour the matcha on top I'm scared this is gonna taste like ass now but it's looking promising but let's give it a taste i should take the lid off to stir it <laughs> okay that's not sweet enough The vanilla definitely makes the difference. Okay. I feel that was good for a first attempt, but it definitely needs some work. And I think I'm gonna get the other syrup because maybe that's like sweeter and stuff. That one's just made it literally go purple. And I probably put way too much of this in. But for a first attempt, it's okay. It's drinkable. I'll take it. So it's dinner time now. I'm currently putting together a cottage pie not a shepherd's pie, because for that you would need lamb mince, but this is beef mince. And that's the difference. Put Jamie in charge of the mash as usual. And we're just gonna get this together and get it in the oven, because I feel worse than I did before. I'm really warm, probably because it is just warm down here in general, but also this cardigan. 
like seals in all the juices. If you do little bits like this all over, it goes a lot further than just doing a massive glob that you've got to then try and spread. I know come at me in the comments, smash is like a delicacy in the UK. Because I ain't got time to be boiling their potatoes and then straining them and mashing them. No. Nah. And they're not so traditional, but I'm going to put some cheese on the top because why not? Okay, and now it's time for me to go take my makeup off and have a shower because I feel absolutely horrid. I might wash my hair again as well because it's feeling a little greasy. So just finished my shower. I have a feeling the timer went off. Yep, Jamie stood in the oven. Ooh, it looks good. I think I'm only gonna have a little bit because I'm not feeling too great. But I need something, I need food. Nice. Oh, hello, madam. Thank you for getting right in the way of the camera. So dinner is served. Honestly, not the most appetizing thing, but definitely needed right now. I just needed some comfort food. Normally that'd be like pasta. Hello again, beautiful angel, but really couldn't be bothered. Like I did fancy a bit of carbonara, but remembered that we had this on our like weekly meal plan and thought, you know what, screw it. It doesn't take that long. It's not that much effort. Let's just get it done. Just gonna eat this now and um, chill out for a bit. Coming at you from the comfort of my bathroom again. I just wanted to kind of sign off the vlog here because we're about to go to bed. So I'm going to brush my teeth. I'm not feeling too great, to be honest. I don't want this to be really, really long so that I've got even more footage to edit. But I hope you enjoyed watching. And I'll definitely be doing more like vlog style videos. And I hope to maybe like throw in some other kind of content in there like get ready with me videos um like tips videos but just figured a nice cozy vlog would be a good way to go because we just got back from a holiday and i didn't really want to do much like i kind of just waited a free weekend where we weren't doing anything because we've both been really busy so it was nice to just chill out but now i need to nurse this lurgy <laughs> that i seem to have caught and it's my first day back at work tomorrow after a couple of weeks off. So yeah, I need to prepare, get back on my grind, like do my walks in the morning and stuff. And then just get back to like content creation and stuff. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you're having a lovely time, a lovely day, no matter what you're doing. But I'll catch you in the next one.